Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In this part we will befriend the Baharis. The Bahari family means Ashi, Ganli, and Kenyatta. And we will also do a little side quest at the end we get from the Ramage Pile in Bahari Bay. That is quite interesting and fits right into this video. So, enjoy! So, let's do Ashi's level 2 friendship quest. Make yourself useful. Apologies for not being as congenial as usual, but my nephew Ashalan is declaring his part next month. According to tradition, there will be a grand ball commemorating the, the occasion. My daughter was supposed to wear the Bahari family signet ring that her aunt, the dreadful duchess, gave her on her name day. Somehow Kenyatta has lost the pearl. It's terribly shameful to lose something that's been in the family for generations and I would like to spare us all that humiliation. Besides, the Heritage Society will be sure to have my head if they find out. Oh, I'll help look for it. Don't bother. It could be at the bottom of the lake, for all we know. You would have better luck searching for a replacement. I won't stop you if that's what you're planning on doing. <laughs> okay. Do me a favor and be quick about it. I wouldn't want news of this to get out. Okay. City Hall is always there to help. Well then, I can sense how important this is for her. Even though she would never admit that. She would never show you how much this means to her. So yeah. Let's help her nevertheless. So you find pearls and oysters uh, at Bahari Bay and just look at this sunrise. Oh my gosh, isn't this beautiful? Wow. I love being here at this time of day. So let's try our luck and collect some unopened oysters. So it took me a little while, but I found a pearl. And let's give it to Ashi. You humans are ever so needy. You're not here to bring me the pearl I requested? Yes, I am. Oh heavens, it seems I haven't chosen the brightest candle in the candelabra to do my errands for me. Excuse me? Wow. You can find pearls and oysters, and you can find oysters near the ocean. I know. I brought you a pearl. For my family signet ring. Excellent. Now my daughter will be spared some embarrassment at her cousin's path declaration ball. Oh, this one was fresh from the ocean, wasn't it? It still has that distinct fishy odor. Yeah, well, of course. No, thank you. Don't show how thank you full you are. Don't show how relieved you are. Just hide beneath these mean words. But well, that's Ashi. Mm. Well, never mind that. Take this for your troubles and do what you will with it. Okay. But maybe, maybe when we continue this friendship with her, maybe she will let us Take a look behind those walls she built around herself. Stay on your best behavior. I try. And when you speak to Kenyatta afterwards, she tells you this. So I found a new pearl for your ring. Not gonna lie, you might have just saved my relationship with my mom. Whatever's left of it, at least. Hey, can you keep a secret? Yes, your secret's safe with me. 
I actually sold the pearl to Zeki just because. And this shows how broken their relationship really is. She knows how much it means to her mother, the whole family thing. And she nevertheless did such a thing because she feels so helpless and pressured by her. And this is really... Oh, this is deep. <laughs> Don't tell my mom though. If she found out, she'd literally go insane. Yes, I think she would. She would. Later. And like that, we are at friendship level 2 with Eshi, at risk rivalry. If things continue in this direction, your relationship with Eishi may soon be less antagonistic. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know. And if you talk to Eishi afterwards, this happens. Loitering is not allowed. Ooh. Tell me, do you know how Kenyatta lost the pearl? Uh oh. Think before you speak. I have ways to tell if someone is lying. We can't tell her the truth. She would go insane and it would hurt her so much. It was stolen. I don't know. I, I, I don't know, Ishi. I am staying out of this. I get the sense you're lying to me. Oh, she's good. But sadly, I cannot prove it. Good for me. <laughs> Stay on your best behavior. But I get why you're standing here every morning. Oh my gosh, this game is so beautiful. Okay, let's tackle Kenley's level 2 friendship quest. Good morning, Kenley. I lost my sandwich again. Oh no, no, Kenley, how could you have been so foolish? Oh, Jen, you scared me. Sorry that you have to see me in such a sorry state. You look like every day. You see, I made a promise to the Dyas, one I fear I will now be unable to keep. What was the promise? I foolishly told Delilah that it would be okay if she were late in turning in the crops needed for this month, Texas. It's been a bad harvest year and she just looked so thrilled when I told her that. Yeah, well, of course she did. I was happy too, until I remembered that I still owe those taxes to my sister, the Duchess, who is far from lenient when it comes to tardiness. Uh-oh. So now I have to go and tell Delilah to turn in those crops no matter what. She'll never forgive me for going back on my word. Yeah, well, then you have to live with that, Kenley. Take a deep breath. You can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't do this. I'm afraid I'm going to need your help getting those crops. I would do it myself, but I'm not suited for manual labor. Oh, well, I think you never tried, Kenley. <laughs> However, I have no doubt you can harvest a few vegetables by the end of the month. Here's a list of what I need to round out my taxes. Don't let me down. Or I might have to evict the dyers. You wouldn't want that on your conscience, would you? Because neither would I. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be on my conscience, Kenley. It would just be on yours. Don't tell Eshe you saw me. <sighs> okay. I'm a bit angry that he's just relying on us in this way. But I don't think that he would really evict the Dyas. But I'm taking no risk here. Okay, um... Five carrots, three onions, two potatoes. This doesn't sound too hard. Okay, five carrots. Three onions. 
and two potatoes. And back to Kenley. Kenley, I've got everything. Let's have a proper chat. I see you've harvested everything I asked for. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I would either have to evict an entire family out of their home or embarrass myself in front of my sister. Yeah, but you would have done the right thing. Right? <laughs> Given that I find the second choice completely unbearable, well, it's a good thing for the dias you came through. Oh, Kenley, you can't be serious here. I'm neck deep in paperwork right now. Okay. I have to say, this enrages me on so many levels. But on the other hand, Kenley is someone who never had to take responsibility for his actions or for anything. And I think it his age it's difficult to learn that so it's good that we're here supporting him and I think there's still hope there's still hope for him to to do the right thing in the end but it shows how broken the relationship between him and Kenyara is as well how afraid he is of her and this is such a intense and interesting contrast to the Dias, to the Daya family, who stick together no matter what, who are supporting each other. And I think that's that's really deep, the contrast between the different families in this game. That's really interesting, I think. Okay, that was le the level 2 French quest of Kenley reprehensible representative <laughs> Kenley needs your help improving the lives of his constituents oh yes he does he does Kenyatta's level 2 friendship quest starts with a letter from Eshi dear Jen I hear you and my daughter are becoming friendly normally I would frown on this sort of fraternizing but I must admit I need your help oh she admits she needs help. This is a big step, I think. My daughter has been very upset as of late and has been making quite the ruckus. She even used a salad fork for her steak last night. On purpose. Could you please talk some sense into her? Well, while this sounds like as she's gone crazy over a fork, this is just the surface on the iceberg on this dysfunctional relationship she has with her daughter. So, let's find out more. <laughs> okay, Kenyatta, tell me what's going on there between you and your mother. I'm so bored. Your mom sent me to talk to you. Oh, this ought to be good if she sent someone else to do her dirty work. Uh, what is it? She's mad about silverware, she thinks you're rebelling. Yeah. If you read between the lines, you get that as she thinks Kenyatta is rebelling. She does, huh? Wonder what it's about this time. Did I cut my hair a little too short? Or maybe I stayed out too late? No, you know what? I bet it was the fork. I knew that drive her crazy. So as she was right, Kenyatta did it on purpose. <sighs> Sorry, I know I sound like a total spoiled rich girl. Yeah, a little. Some people have actual problems and here I am fighting with my mom. Yeah. It just doesn't really seem fair, her getting to decide everything about my life. She's been pressuring me about declaring my path. Apparently I'm too old to still be figuring my life out. Yes, Kenyatta, that is unfair. Why haven't you declared yet? Because I don't know what I want yet. If my mom had her way, I'd go into governance. But that would make me miserable. Yeah, I think it would. And she sees how miserable her mom and her dad are, so I can perfectly understand that she doesn't want to go down this road. 
Is it so much to want to be happy with the thing I'll be doing for the rest of my life? <laughs> no, it's not. You should be. This is the most important thing about all of this. You should be happy. Maybe I can help. Hmm. You know, I always kind of thought gardening sounded fun. Now you always seem so happy after a day of work. Maybe that could be my path, but I don't have any seeds or anything to try it out. Do you think you could bring me some? I'll be sure to pay you back. Of course. Okay, bye. Okay, one onion seed, one carrot seed, one tomato plant seed and one potato seed. I hope we have everything there, otherwise we might have to go to the general store and buy one or two of them. Okay, luckily we've got everything here. Now let's go back. Okay, Kenyatta, I've got your seat. You're just gonna stand there? I brought the seeds. Cool, so just stick them in dirt and wait? That doesn't sound so hard. Yeah, well, there's a little more to it. Yeah. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks, Jan. Here, yeah, this should cover the cost. Okay, thank you. Ugh, back to being bored. So, and what I like about Kenyatta's level 2 friendship quest is that it's a little more extensive than the other ones were. We have to wait now for a letter from, from her, how things went with her <laughs> trying to garden. Okay, let's see. Dijan, you are formally invited to the funeral of all my plants. Someone else has to mourn the death of my dreams with me. I don't even know what went wrong. I watered them every 10 minutes. How does my deck make this look so easy? Yeah, well, every 10 minutes, I think you've drowned them, Kenyatta. Oh boy. Mourn Kenyatta's plants with her. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, Kenyatta, I'm here. Hope you have something interesting to say. So it turns out gardening sucks and I hate it and I'm never doing it again. That was fast. Uh... Yeah, well, no point killing more plants just because I'm being stubborn. Oh well, okay. So gardening's not my thing. That's fine. There's plenty of other things to try, right? What else do people do? Have you tried designing clothes? Or maybe you could try furniture making. Maybe designing clothes could be something for you. Clothes, huh? I mean, I've always liked buying them. Oh. Yeah, why not? I can ask Jal to give me some tips tomorrow. It's so hard to find anything in my style out here anyways. May might be kind of nice to make my own stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Jan. You're not so bad, you know? Okay, thank you. See you later, or whatever. Whatever. Okay. So, spoiler. This whole quest continues with friendship level 3, obviously. And uh, I think it's important to support Kenyatta here, because she doesn't get any support from her parents, as she has other plans for future and Kenley yeah as Kenley he would never say anything against Ashley so it's important that she has a friend to support her here and I hope we can be that for her so if you want to know how this continues stay tuned so now we are at friendship level 2 with Kenyatta's source of inspiration. Kenyatta turns to you for inspiration on what she should do with her life. And I think we should support her in that. And if you've got any problems finding a pearl for the friendship level 2 quest of Eshi, just do Kenyatta's quest before because she will give you 5 pearls. 
Message in a bottle. Okay. What's that? This bottle was found hidden under debris on the beach. A letter is curled up inside, waiting to be read. To whom it may concern, I have had much time to reflect on the circumstances that brought me to writing this letter, but I find myself still too ashamed to put them to paper. It has been a week since the ship I chartered was overturned by a perilous storm at sea. When I next opened my eyes, I found myself on the white sands of this Margi Forsaken Island. Alone. <laughs> Margi Forsaken Island, that's really cool. Every other attempt I have made to capture the attention of a rescue has failed, and thus I turn in desperation to the single sheet of paper that was kept miraculously dry in the safety of my breast pocket. If you are reading this, send help. To be clear, I mean let some authority know where I am. That is to say, somewhere in the Bahari Sea. Just send boats and look for the island with help spelled on the shore with rocks. Oh, this doesn't sound good at all. This is not a request for your bank account details. I'm actually stranded. I repeat, this is not a scam. Oh well, this gives me the feeling it, it may be a scam after all. I have not been able to brush my teeth in over a week and I fear that my what my dentist will say when I return home. But I think you've got other problems. Dying would also be an inconvenience. <laughs> an inconvenience, okay. Sincerely, Ash oh my gosh, Echelon, Echelon Bahari, the nephew of Ashi, and the cousin of Kenyat, oh sh shoot, there appear to be multiple drafts of the letter written on the back and then scratched out, dearest kind benefactor, this is Lord Bahari of Bahari City, and I humbly request your assistance in this matter, does this sound too much like a scam? Oh no, to anyone from Hungary. <laughs> Subject, I've run out of coconut-based recipes. Oh no, Kenyatta, don't love but I need to help. Do not tell my mother or your mother. Oh, this is Ashalon stranded on this Margie forsaken island. Oh shoot, can we help him? Ask around about the letter you found. Yeah, well then. I think we should talk to to Kenyatta. Kenley won't be able to do anything. He's uh, not been of any help at all. Uh, no matter what a problem there was. And Echelon begged us, or to Kenyatta, not to tell Eshi, so... I think we should speak to Kenyatta about this. Kenyatta's over here. Oh, poor girl is still studying in the library at four in the morning. <laughs> okay, let's talk to her about Echelon. I found this message on the beach. Okay, she's laughing. Oh man, this is priceless. That's his handwriting too. I'm gonna be able to tease him about this for weeks. Shouldn't we help him? This letter's like three years old at least. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. I remember when Echelon went missing. It was this huge drama for weeks. The Duchess sent all the ships in the city out for him. Oh, Echelon's my cousin. Fancy guy, likes wearing all black and staring broodingly out of windows. You know, the usual lordly stuff. <laughs> okay. Are you too close? Can he share any coconut recipes with me? Must have been so hard. No rod. Are you too close? When I was little, we used to be. He was like my broody older brother. Then our moms got this weird rivalry in their heads and tried to pit us against each other. I don't really get to talk to him much now. Oh, this sounds awful as well. I mean, they they can have their rivalry if they want to, but they shouldn't shouldn't use the, the kids and shouldn't drag them into this mess as well. Anyways, thank you for finding this. Here's some gold for your trouble. 
I better go get a frame. This one's going up on the wall for sure. I'll catch you later, okay? Oh, Kenyatta, this is mean. I think he was really, really stressed out, the poor guy. And this happens if you're talking to Kenley. Let's have a proper chat. I found this message on the beach. <laughs> Goodness, Ashland's in trouble. You'd better bring this to someone who can help. Oh dear, I don't want to know what Kenyara will do when she finds out. Um, Kenley, I've come to you. Can't you help? <laughs> Me? Oh, no, no, no. I get much too seasick to mount a rescue mission. And if I bring this up, she might be furious. Well, as she's always furious, you should be used to that by now. She always gets so sour when I mention my family, especially Kenyara or her son. And I wonder why this is. So, Kenley does not help you. So after you are talking to him, you also have to talk to either Kenyatta or Ishi. And this happens if you talk to Ashi about the message on the beach. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Yes, I remember when this happened. Kenyara nearly tore the coast apart looking for him. It was quite the ruckus. It only took them a few days to find the island and rescue him. So, he's safe? As safe as one can be in Bahari City. He was rescued a good three years back. Ashlan is the Duchess' son and Kenyatta's cousin. When he went missing, I remember the Duchess sent all the ships in the city out looking for him. Such a waste of resources when it appears he was simply enjoying an island vacation and getting sick of the coconuts. Yeah, well, I don't think that's the whole story. Ashlan likes to act like he's better than the rest of us. He takes after his mother in that regard. Okay. I shall have to mention this letter the next time I visit the estate. It would do him some good to keep that ego in check. Yeah well. Normally I would ask why was he at sea? But it's quite interesting when you ask her can he share any coconut recipes with me? <laughs> ah, if you ever find yourself in Bahari City you shall have to ask him yourself. Personally I don't care for the things. Especially the dried variety. They are a disgraceful addition to any dessert. Oh yes, I feel that. I hate dried coconut. Yeah, payment for finding the letter. I shall make good use of this. <laughs> but of course I will also show you what Ashi answers if you pick the water type option. Why was he at sea? Some project or another. I believe he was studying mechanical engineering at the Bahari Institute at the time. Kenyara never let me hear the end of it. Mm. Here, payment for finding the letter. I shall make good use of this. City Hall is always there to help. So, Echelon is safe. Everything's fine. It was much ado about nothing because this whole incident happened three years ago. But it shows how deep the gap between Ashi, uh, Kenyatta and Ashlan and Kenyara is, even though Ashi and Kenyara named their children after one another. So stay tuned for more lore in the next Friendship Quest. And if you like my content, I would be over the moon if you would like this video and maybe Hit the subscribe button, it would help my little tiny channel out a lot. Thank you so much. <laughs>